The origins of Interplay Energy started when Steve and I worked together at a training company. We trained um, energy auditors on combustion safety procedure and some other things and it became obvious to us that in the limited field training time we had and the limited field access we had uh, and the limited budgets, the students weren't getting enough, ha enough hands-on type experience and so we figured you could use a sim simulation technology to really mimic that and help the students build a, a mental muscle memory for tricky procedures. The simulation is a 3D immersive practical troubleshooting simulation. It's really meant to focus on the practical skills that these students will need when they have careers in heating and ventilation. It really teaches them how to think critically, how to look at wiring diagrams, and how to assess a sequence of operations in a piece of equipment. It's 3D and immersive, so they, they really get a lifelike experience when they're in the, in the troubleshooting simulation. They get a repair summary, and their real goal is to repair the equipment at the right price uh, in as little of time as possible. The sim begins with the student getting a service call, and actually they get it on their cell phone. It says, for example, the air conditioning does not work, and, and they're faced looking at an air conditioning unit and, and, and walk outside and look at a condensing unit. They've got a toolbox that they can access at any time, and they begin going through their troubleshooting process. Uh, to identify the faults, just like a real service call. One of the other key aspects of the simulation is the feedback reports, which are immediate and come back after each simulation attempt. The, the student can quickly see where the problems are occurring and they can address those. This, this type of self-paced learning or immediate feedback learning is an important, uh, important process of overall understanding of a complex topic. There's also one module on soft skills. The instructors said over and over again, the technical is certainly important and we know the simulation will be very effective in helping us teach that, but don't forget about soft skills. It's something we need to continue to remind students is an important piece of, uh, of having a career in the HVAC industry. In the, in the technical side of thing, we actually have a, Q, uh, a soft skills piece as well, where the student, in order to get full points, has to remember to put all covers back on and clean the service area. We're excited to see the instructors start embedding the simulation in their, in, into their curriculums. It, it really does open a, a lot of opportunities for them to, to flip the classroom, as they, as they say, or in this case, flip the lab, allowing students to do a lot more uh, work at home prior to lab, hopefully making lab time more effective, where students can focus on more nuanced sides of, of field work, um, really focus on the hands-on side of things, because they were able to take the lab work home and build some more cognitive side, the procedural side of, of the troubleshooting, and, and, and making their time in the, in the lab a lot more effective.